Oklahoma is on the verge of taking a giant step forward in the war against child sexual abuse. House Bills 1468 and 1470 will give survivors the time they need to come forward and seek justice. And it is now our, as it is now, our laws inhibit survivors since the age restrictions on the books simply don't line up with the reality of how survivors process trauma. Right now, you essentially have until the age of 20 to bring a civil case and 31 to bring a criminal case against your perpetrator. The reality is that most survivors of sexual abuse don't come forward until their early 40s. These bills would increase both the civil and criminal statute of limitations to age 45. Last year, I went public with my story for the first time while lobbying for a similar bill that would advance the statute of limitations. That bill failed to get a hearing in the Senate, but it was successful in so many other ways. To begin with, going public empowered other survivors to come forward with their own traumas. I didn't know a single other person who had been abused, and now I know hundreds. We have a strong and supportive community, and some of them are here with me today. We urge the Senate to pass these bills and look forward to working with Senator David Holt to send a clear message that crimes against children have no place in Oklahoma. Last year, as a freshman legislator, um, I was contacted in August by um, our Tulsa District Attorney, Steve Kuntzweiler. Soon after that, I did contact um, Virginia, and we sat down, and um, she filled me in on, on the stories, not only hers, but everybody else's, and the history of it, and what other states were doing. It became very evident that Oklahoma was very far behind on several issues that have to deal with child abuse, child sexual abuse, and neglect. There's been a few times in my life that I've been able to stand in the midst of heroes, and I feel like I'm doing that today. Anyone who goes through this kind of a trauma as a child and then is able to publicly talk about it and to publicly face their accuser, in my mind, is a hero. Each and every one of you, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. God bless you for all you're doing. And I will say this, too. I'm proud of my colleagues, both sides of the House yesterday, passed these bills unanimously. We can't let up. We have to continue to push hard to let these perpetrators know that we're going to come after them. I also want to thank the heroes, Miss Virginia Lewis and To Prevail. God bless you. Your work's paying off. My message to the Senate's clear. Please do all you can to stand with us.